almost ready to sleep, but still, I wanted to get my thoughts in. This was easily the second best game of the uh, round 16 and one of the very best of the World Cup. And tip of the hat to Japan. This amazing performance by a Japanese that I don't think many thought they had in them and I am actually quite sorry to see them go. They in a way fall in a category with Mexico, I have to say. Um, the offensive, small, quick, not holding, not hanging back, um, but also maybe a little bit too limited to really, really, really threaten to go further in the tournament. And this was the, um, how to say, that's what kept this game interesting because you had on the other side a Belgium squad that is very well capable of doing great things. But they were challenged and they were challenged big time. Uh, Japan challenged them a lot more than Mexico challenged Brazil, which was only for 20 or 20 minutes. The beginning, Japan, very good or, or, or organization, a lot of system switches, um, very aware, very concentrated play. There were hardly any mistakes by Japan for most of the time. Um, they always started the halves out to be in control. A little bit and then Belgium came rolling back and I thought that especially in the first half it was only a matter of time until Belgium scores the goal but Japan didn't give up they didn't turn negative or they didn't uh, give up they still had their own chances it was kind of a fluke a little bit that this ended 0-0 at halftime and then the second half starts out with a bang uh, first I think Haraguchi made a goal where I think uh, Courtois was caught off guard a little bit, but a uh, precision shot, great, great shot, and even better than one four minutes later by Inui, who in my opinion was the best player on the field, on the pitch. Uh, everywhere and everything that he did, there was a thought behind it, and it uh, didn't seem rushed, it, uh, it was well thought of. And there was always imminent danger coming from Inui. A really, really great performance. But I knew that at 2-0, their lead is not safe. Because I know what Belgium can offer. And Belgium needed to get rolling. And they needed a few minutes. They had in between uh, a shot to the post by Azar. Um, which could have made it 1-1. Probably should have made it 1-1. And Azar was the other one that I thought was really uh, always a danger point in attack more so than De Bruyne more so than Lukaku so Inui and Azar at least for me were the best players on the field um, the Belgium put themselves back in contention they had a couple of chances and then this weird uh, situation where after a corner kick the ball comes out far left field and it hits Verdongen on the head and it goes in a wide loop into the corner of the Japanese net and the goalkeeper didn't look well there. Um, yeah, so I would say two goalkeeping mistakes. And then a few minutes later, just like Japan, I think it was within four or four minutes, they had equalized by Fellaini, who came in uh, uh, from a corner kick, I think, from Azar. And then anyway, it was game on. And again, tip of the head to Japan. Yes, Belgium had the upper hand. Uh, they were physically stronger, physically more imposing. But Japan was threatening and they played concentrated and every attack of theirs uh, was at point of danger. Uh, it was really amazing to watch. I, I loved watching this game. Uh, couldn't take my eyes off it. And I never thought I'll get into this Belgium-Japan game, but I couldn't take my eyes off this game. It was really, really great. Uh, the only time I had to take off my eyes is when my little one, who is a little sick, had to take her and had her on my chest while we were watching but this was also actually calming me down, so it was quite a nice moment. And then Japan threatened, and actually I thought Japan is going to make it uh, over time for, uh, I think injury time was four minutes. Honda, who came on, had a shot saved um, just before that. Kawaguchi, I think was his name, the Japanese goalkeeper, saved twice uh, against Lukaku. And... Oh, name, name escapes me now again. 
uh, he made two great saves. I mean, uh, he was really, really well informed. Uh, he just had one mistake and that was one goal that probably put Belgium back. And then after the corner kick, after Honda, Honda's shot was saved, I really thought that now Japan is pressing to make the winner. And it happened exactly the other way. Courtois catches the ball, rolls down to De Bruyne, De Bruyne starts a sprint, gives it out to um, Meunier. And Meunier plays a wonderful pass that Lukaku lets pass and Chadli uh, hams, hammers in, in internet with just a few seconds to go. Game over. And I saw it coming that one of the teams will score. That I was a little bit hoping for overtime, but I had the feeling that one of those teams is still gonna go score because they were both going for it. Wonderful, 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 wonderful game. This is what I want to see. And Japan played how I would Spain, how would I expect Spain to play? Um, it was really well organized, flexible, and they're also more on the small side, they play lots of passes, but they fight, 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 and really take the took the game to Belgium, and Belgium came right back. Now, um, I was thinking about the Brazil matchup. Who will match, who will give Brazil the bigger task? I don't necessarily want Brazil to lose, and my bigger daughter that you saw, chose for me the Brazil shirt for, for tomorrow. I don't want necessarily Brazil to lose, but I want them to get a challenge. And I think Belgium, I can see it more that they give them a big challenge uh, as well as Japan played today. I was a little bit afraid that Japan might not match up too well against Brazil. But then after what they pulled today, I really would have wanted to see that. I gotta be honest with you. I, I think with Japan, we lose another great side that made this World Cup great. Uh, and this is not another statement, and I would have loved if uh, another Ch Asian side could have made it to the quarterfinals again. So, um, really, I feel for Japan, but this game needed to have, have a winner. Both would have deserved to go on, honestly. Um, take Spain out, Russia out, Denmark out, even Croatia out, and put those two in. Um, it was that good, good of a game. And what made it even better, the jersey matchup. I love this one more than the Brazil-Mexico. It was red against blue. Yes, I got it wrong. But it was red against blue and it looked fabulous. Absolutely fair, fabulous. Even, with, even if it was monocolored, I loved it. Everything about this game was wonderful. Let me know what you thought. I really want to go to bed now. So <laughs> I probably will only post this tomorrow. But let me know what you thought about the game, jersey matchup and so on. And yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.